Greetings from Terry here at D-Lab. In this video, we are going to examine the power supply section of a Leslie 147 tube power amplifier. So this amplifier came into the shop with a distortion problem. I checked the output tubes and unfortunately, one of the original Leslie 6550s was shorted. So I replaced the tubes with a pair of RCAs and then I thought, okay, it's time to move on and check the bias so we don't smoke our new set of tubes. And here's what I found. Well, what I found is that the power supply levels were too high. I performed a web search because I was looking for information on the Leslie's and I ran across Benton Electronics. They had a great write-up on servicing the whole Leslie line with focus on the power supply section. So I did some reading, found out that the power supply voltages specified were critical, but unfortunately there's no adjustments. So here is my solution. I got the amplifier powered up. The meter on the left is monitoring the cathode voltage. According to the schematic it should be 25 volts. You can see that's running high. This is my plate voltage meter on the right. Now I'm going to switch that lead. We're going to look at the screen voltage coming off of the OC3 regulator. Okay, so the OC3 regulator works differently in this application. It actually is performing a voltage drop. So the OC3 is a 105 volt DC voltage regulator. So it's actually subtracting 105 volts from that plate voltage that you just saw a moment ago. And that's coming up with 340 volts DC that should actually be 310 volts DC for the screens. So since we have elevated screen voltage, we're going to have elevated cathode voltage and your output tubes are going to run hot. So since the amplifier had no adjustments and the OC3 was doing all the work of regulating the screen voltage, I thought what I need to do is drop more voltage but regulate it. Remember the OC3 is 105 volts, but an OD3 is 150 volts. I thought I'm going to go ahead and pop in OD3 and see what happens to my voltage levels. All right, same as before, we're monitoring the cathode voltage here. We're looking for 25 volts and we're monitoring the screen voltages on that meter and we're looking for approximately 310 volts. I am now running the OD3 voltage regulator. Look at those voltages. They're almost picture perfect. So I believe this is a simple solution to bring the screens and cathode voltages into spec and protect your 6550 tubes from running too hot. For more information, take a look at bentonelectronics.com read up on these Leslie amplifiers, especially if you plan to service one, I'd highly recommend reviewing the site. 